This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Okay, right, let's go through and work the example that we have on free cash flows and free cash flow to equity. Uh, so what we've got there, if we go through and look at the requirements, uh, it says to calculate, first of all, the free cash flow. So remember, that's the cash flows that are available to the debt and the equity holders. So it, we adjust, wasn't it, your operating profit, adjust for non-cash items, uh, adjust for any investments that you make in non-current assets, uh, adjust for any changes in working capital, wasn't it, in any tax payments that we had. Okay, uh, And then we wanted to go through then and work out the free cash flow to equity. Okay. Uh, whereby we start with the free cash flow and then we deduct, don't we, any interest payments because then what is left is everything that is available to the equity holders, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so it goes through there and says, Kappa has recently published its financial statements and extracts reveal the following information. Okay. So you've got your investment in working capital. So just note that is an investment in working capital. So effectively that must be an increase, isn't it? Uh, you've also got an investment in non-current assets. That's like a net investment, okay? So that's the, the outflow net of any inflow from selling your non-current assets, okay? So, you know, effectively all we're doing is we're taking the operating activities from your cash flow statements, uh, ignoring any interest payments, uh, and then also adjusting for the investing activities, okay? Uh, so you've got an investment again in non-current assets, so therefore again that will be an outflow. Uh, you've got your depreciation, uh, which again is a non-cash item that will add back to the profit. So you're given your operating profit of 935, so that's where we will start in a moment. And then you've got interest and dividends, okay, so interest payments, dividend payments. We might need to look at those when we're making any adjustments as we go through. However, just note the company's profit to tax is it there at 20%. So when we're going through there and looking at your tax payments, uh, we will just take 20% of the operating profit as it there at 935. Okay. So uh, let's have a play around with it, see how we get on. Uh, so we want to work out the free cash flow first. So there we start off, don't we, with our operating Profit is that there in terms of thousands? Is that 935? Okay. Uh, we can then go through there, can't we, and add back any depreciation. So the depreciation that we have is there, is it as 120? Okay. Uh, you've then got your investments. So uh, we then have. To deduct our working capital investment is that the at 185. Uh, you've then got is it your investments in your non current assets, so effectively your property, plant, and equipment, isn't it? What well, good investment there is that there are 420. Uh, and then what we need to go through and do as well, isn't it, to work out our free cash flows, we then need to deduct any tax payments. Uh, tax rate is there at 20%, isn't it? Uh, the operating profit figure is there at 935. So is that the check maths? Is there at 187? Okay. Uh, so 935 plus 120 less 185 less 120 less 187 is that there's 263. That 263 is my free cash flow, FCF for short. Okay, so that free cash flow is the cash flow that is available to the debt holders and the equity holders. So effectively before any interest or dividend payments. Okay, uh, just then be careful. If we then wanted to work out, is it your free cash flow to equity, what we would then need to do is that we would then need to deduct the interest 
the interest is there, is it as 170? Does that give me there, is that 93? And that will then be my free cash flow to equity. Okay, and that there is the cash flow that is available to the equity holders, isn't it? Okay, you can make a great objective test type question, couldn't it? Calculate the free cash flow, calculate the free cash flow to equity. Okay, uh, again, just be careful. I know it's not part of the question or part of the requirement, uh, but your free cash flows. You discount that at the weighted average cost of capital, don't we? And that will give you the value of the business. To work out the value of equity, you then deduct the value of the debt. Uh, the free cash flows to equity, we would do discount those at a discount rate appropriate for your equity holders. So therefore, that will be discounted at the cost of equity, which will give you directly the value of equity. Okay, So that's just a brief example looking at calculating the free cash flows. At calculating the free cash flow to equity, we'll move on within the next example and then begin to start using those figures that we've calculated to work out the actual value of the equity. So I shall see you all in a minute.